हेलो फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स बाय समित देशमुख सो नाउ वी आर सॉल्विंग लास्ट थ्री एग्जांपल फ्रॉम दिस मिसलिनियस एक्सरसाइज सी द एग्जांपल नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ इन दिस एग्जांपल व्हाट इज द गिवन कंडीशन इफ द लाइन एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो को विद वन ऑफ द लाइन रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस इक्वेशन यूजिंग दिस कंडीशन वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट के इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट माइनस फोर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द गिवन इक्वेशन इट इज द जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड डिग्री इन एक्स एंड वाई एंड one of the line represented by this equation coincides with which line x plus 2 is equal to 0 so one line is given to us so we are supposing that the other line b and let the other line let the other line other line b x plus by plus c is equals to 0. Denote this equation by equation number first. If it is a general equation of second degree in x and y means it represent what? Two lines. It is given to us that this is the first line represented by this equation and we are supposing that the equation of second line say b a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0. Now we are finding combined equation of these two lines and later on we will see how to make the use of new combined equation to find out our required value of k so therefore their combined equation their combined combined equation is so what is the equation of first line x plus 2 and second equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 first multiply by x to all the terms in this bracket x into ax will be equal to ax square x into by will be equal to bxy x into c will be equal to cx 2 into ax will be equal to 2ax 2 into by will be equal to 2by and 2 into c will be equal to what 2c is equal to 0. Just simply we have taken multiplication of these two equations. Now simplified only one term of x square appears in this equation. So first write down the term of x square then collect the terms of xy. Here also only one term of xy is there then collect the terms of x. Two terms of x are there. If we are taking x common from these two terms here we will get c and here it's coefficient is 2a plus 2by 2by plus 2c keep it as it is is equal to 0 let us denote this equation say by equation number 2 now this equation 2 is the combined equation of these two lines isn't it and this given equation is also combined equation of these two lines means both the equations are what one and the same so let us make the use of this condition here so here we can say that equation first and second are combined equation are combined equation of same two lines same two lines so therefore comparing comparing coefficient coefficient of like term like terms let us see what we will get here we get let us see what we will get here uh, so now we are comparing this equation first and equation second if we are comparing coefficient of x square so what we will get here a upon 1 so a upon 1 will be equals to we whenever the two equations are same so we can say that uh, ratio of coefficient of like terms are in proportion so first we have taken the ratio of coefficient of what x then take the coefficient of then take the ratio of coefficient of xy so what is coefficient of xy here b and here in this equation 2 later on here we can observe that term of x is absent so here term of x is present so we are not comparing the coefficient of what uh, coefficient of x then observe the coefficient of y so here 2b is there uh, and here 4 is there so which is equal to 2b upon 4 and lastly compare the constant term so which is equal to 2c and here constant term will be equal to k 
एंड हियर कोइफिशेंट टर्म ऑफ एक्स इज एबसेंट हियर टर्म ऑफ एक्स इज एबसेंट मीन्स इज कोइफिशेंट विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट जीरो वॉट इज द कोइफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स हियर सी सो हियर वी कैन हियर कोइफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स इज सी प्लस टू ए सो वी कैन से दैट सी प्लस टू ए विल बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो जस्ट दिस रिजल्ट वी आर गेटिंग कंपेरिंग दिस टू इक्वेशन हियर टर्म ऑफ एक्स इज एबसेंट इट्स मीनिंग इज दैट इट्स कोइफिशेंट इज जीरो मीन्स डिरेक्टली वी कैन से दैट वैल्यू ऑफ सी प्लस टू ए विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो comparing these two equation now let us simplify this equation this implies that our interest is to find out value of what k so observe this is the term of what k and in this equation c and a appear so we are collecting such term in which c and a appear so here a is there here c is there so we are considering these two terms so the ratio of these two terms are what equal so our interest is in the term of what c and a because in this equation c and a appears so here we can say that c is equal to plus 2a on this side will become minus 2a in this way we have got the value of c also so this implies that a is equals to 2 I am replacing c by its value. What is the value of c here? Minus 2a divided by k. Keep it as it is. So this implies that k will get multiplied on this side. So on this side will get a k, and on this side 2 into minus 2a will be equal to minus 4a, which implies that k is equal to after cancelling a from both the side. What value of k we are getting here? Minus 4. And this is the required value of k, which we have to find out. We have to show that uh, if this conditions are satisfying at that time k is equals to what minus 4 now see the example number 25th in this example we have to prove that the combined equation of pair of lines passing through the origin and perpendicular to the line represented by this homogeneous equation is given as bx square minus 2hxy plus ay square is equals to 0 so here this is one homogeneous equation we know that homogeneous equation represents what two lines passing through the origin so let us suppose that the lines represented by this homogeneous equation are l1 and l2 and here we can observe that these two line passes through what origin so l1 and l2 are the two lines represented by given homogeneous equation now question is to find out what combine equation combine equation of pair of line passing through the origin means our required line also passes through the origin and perpendicular to the line represented by this equation in this figure we have denoted the line represented by this homogeneous equation by l1 and l2 now we are trying to find out two such line which passes through the origin and perpendicular to this line l1 and l2 here easily we can observe that here already i have drawn the figure so here we can observe that this this line is perpendicular to which line l1 let us denote it by l1 dash and second line is perpendicular to which line l2 so l2 let us denote it by l2 dash so here l1 dash and l2 dash are two lines which passes through the origin and perpendicular to the lines represented by this homogeneous equation and question is to find out combine equation of these two lines which are perpendicular to the line represented by homogeneous equation whenever we are finding combine equation first we have to find out equation of the line means here we have to find out equation of which line l1 dash and l2 dash while solving the example in the exam not necessary necessary to draw this figure so just i have drawn this figure so that easily you are able to understand the condition in the example now we are trying to find out equation of these two lines l1 dash and what l2 dash which are perpendicular to the line represented by this homogeneous equation so here we are supposing that m1 and m2 be the slopes of the line represented by this homogeneous equation and we know that if m1 and m2 are the slopes of line represented by homogeneous equation then some of slope is always minus 2h upon b and product of slope means m1 into m2 will be equal to a upon b 
now we are trying to find out slope of our required line isn't it so our required line are perpendicular to the lines represented by this equation and what is the slope of one of the line represented by this equation is m1 if slope of one line is known to us then slope of its perpendicular line can be find out just by taking its reciprocal and multiplying by minus this is the method to find out slope of what perpendicular line means what slope of our one required line will be minus 1 upon m1 and slope of second line will be minus 1 upon m2 because m2 is the slope of second line so using this method we are trying to find out slope of our required line which are perpendicular to the line represented by this equation so here we can say that therefore slope of line passing through origin passing through origin and perpendicular perpendicular to line represented by line represented by equation first r what are the slope of our first line minus 1 upon m1 and slope of second line is minus 1 upon m2 so in this way we have got the slope of our required lines once the slopes are known to us we are able to find out equation of our required line so therefore equation of required lines are so required line passes through the origin so its equation can be find out applying which formula y is equal to mx but what is the slope of our first line minus 1 upon m1x means which formula we are applying y is equal to mx but here m is nothing but minus 1 upon m1 and slope of second line is y is equal to minus 1 upon m2x because slope of second line is minus 1 upon m2 so this equation can be written as here m1 will get multiplied on this side so m1y is equal to remaining term on this side is minus x here also we will get m2y is equal to minus x so this equation can be written as minus x on this side will become plus x plus m1y is equal to 0 and here also minus x on this side will become plus x x plus m 2 y is equal to 0. Once the equation of both the lines are known to us by taking their multiplication we are able to find out combined equation. So therefore a required combined equation is so take the multiplication of these two equation x plus m 1 y into x plus m 2 y is equal to 0. So therefore x into x will be equal to x square x into m2y will be equal to m2xy. Now I am multiplying by m1. m1y into x will be equal to m1xy. m1y into m2y will be equal to m1 into m2xy. Sorry y square is equals to 0. So therefore x square keep it as it is we are collecting the terms of xy if we are taking xy common from these two term here its coefficient is m1 and here its coefficient is m2 plus m1 into m2 y square is equal to 0 keep it as it is lastly we are substituting the value of m1 plus m2 and m1 into m2 let us see what we will get here keep this x square as it is m1 plus m2 can be replaced by its value minus 2h upon b xy keep it as it is and m1 into m2 can be replaced by its value a upon b keep this y square is equal to 0 as it is now we are multiplying both side by b to eliminate b from the denominator let us see what we'll get if i'm multiplying to first term by b here we will get bx square multiply to second term by b bb will get cancelled minus 2h xy multiply by b b and b will get cancelled we will get a y square is equal to zero and check whether is it our required equation yes here what result we have got bx square minus 2h xy plus a y square is equal to zero so this it's a required combine combine equation now see the last example from this miscellaneous exercise 
in this example one equation is given to a general equation of second degree in x and y which represent pair of perpendicular lines using this condition we have to find out value of what a and c so here we have first considered the given equation so this plus one on this side will become what minus one now we know that this using the condition that this equation represent perpendicular lines let us try to find out our required required value but in case of general uh, standard general equation of second degree in x and y constant term we are denoting by what c but here constant term is what c minus 1 that's why we are comparing this equation first with the standard general equation so compare this equation this equation with with ax square here i am denoting the coefficients by capital letter because here c small c is already used so that's why constant term we will denote it by capital c so better way use all the coefficients or denote all the coefficients by capital letter ax square plus 2h xy plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equals to 0 so let us see what we will get so therefore capital a will be equal to means first by comparing coefficient of x square let us see what we will get comparing coefficient of x square we can say that capital a is equal to small a compare the coefficient of x y here term of x y is absent means we can say that h is equal to 0 then compare the coefficient of y square we will get b is equal to minus 1 here term of x is absent that's why we can say that g is equal to 0 comparing coefficient of uh, y so 2f is equal to 2 implies that f is equals to 1 and lastly we can say that capital C is equal to c minus 1 comparing constant term once these values are known to us then use the given condition that uh, lines represented by this equation first are perpendicular since uh, lines represented by equation first are perpendicular so therefore we know that if lines are perpendicular then a plus b will be equals to what zero which implies that replace a by small a and capital b by its value minus one is equal to zero which implies that a is equal to minus one on this side will become plus one so a is equals to one so in this way we have got our first required value which required value a now to find out the second value we are using the condition that the if this equation represent pair of lines at that time value of determinant will be equals to 0 also we can say that also the value of determinant which is also called as discriminant for the uh, general equation of second degree in x and y and element of this determinant are a heighted girl having beautiful face going for college so remaining part is just to substitute the value what is the value of capital a that is equal to small a but small a is equals to 1 h will be equal to 0 g is also equals to what 0 h is equal to 0 b is equals to what is the value of b minus 1 f is equals to 1 again we are substituting the value of g which is equal to 0 f is equals to 1 and c is equal to observe the value of capital c will be equals to c minus 1 once these values are substituted remaining party just to simplify this determinant so 1 into delete this uh, column and row find out determinant of these element first take this product this product will be minus 1 into c is minus c and minus 1 into minus 1 will be equal to plus 1 minus this product will be equals to 1 then lastly 0 into any term will be equal to what 0 and here also 0 into any term will be equal to 0 means remaining term will become 0 here so therefore uh, see what we are getting here minus c plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled so only the remaining term is minus c minus c is equal to 0 here plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled so minus c into 1 will be equal to minus c which implies that c is equal to 0 so just simply if we are multiplying both side by minus on this side we will get plus c and minus into 0 will be equal to 0 so therefore what result we have got here a is equals to 1 and c is equals to 0 
so in this way we have completed all the example from this chapter so see i have tried to introduce all the concept from this chapter even we have solved each and every example from the exercise and even from the miscellaneous exercise